right. Shalom, shalom. Welcome back to the channel. I am Jonathan, the Code Searcher, and we're going to be talking about the Donald Trump table in this uh, this video. I know many of you have been asking me about that all week long, and I've been working on it. Um, you guys, I've been very busy. Um, it is late right now. It is 12.46 a.m. on Friday morning, and so it's back like it was in the old days when I had, you know, to work during the day and... Um, doing codes at night so um it's kind of late i'm tired um not been feeling well this week battling migraine headaches and things like that <clears throat> and so uh, i did what i could to you know get this out but then the rnc was going on all week and i kind of wanted to watch what donald trump had to say and um you know i just got finished watching the uh speech he did and, um, you know, it was a very, very impressive, different kind of Donald Trump. I think uh, we can all see this has probably changed him as it's probably changed a lot of us. Um, me personally, you guys, I was let's just let me let's just unpack this before I get into the code. And, and I'm going to show you some clips that I've been, um, you know, researching the data because I wanted to, to be accurate in this. Uh, initially, when all the information was coming in, you know, Newsmax was saying it was a Chinese national. Somebody else was saying it was um, an Antifa person, and we didn't have a name. And so I waited around, watched all the news, and um, I think it was about 3 o'clock in the morning that um, we finally got a name, and we got a hit on it, all three names, all three um, first, middle, and last are, are in the Trump table um, and is on the opposite side that I was working previously. If you guys recall, um, more to the right side um, of the table was where I was finding a lot of anomalies. And, uh, and the thing about this, you guys, um, this this table is more than six years old. It is the one that predicted Donald Trump would um, would be president. I'm going to show you that. Donald uh, Trump wins. Hillary steals. Remember that 2016. I think it was six months before the election. And we had code, we're showing codes that uh, indicated that Donald Trump would win the election, but it also that uh, Hillary Clinton would probably try to steal the election. And um, that didn't happen. I, I think they tried, um, but they, de they definitely overcompensated in the next election, which was we were also correct about. OK. So I've been looking at this, this one particular code for a long time, many, 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 many hours. And I've, I've, I've looked at it in every which way concerning the anomaly that indicated that he might be assassinated. Um, so I was looking at everything from bombings to stabbing to poison to shooting, all of those things. And uh, because this is the codes are about probability. What is more probable? What is less probable? OK. And by the way, uh, I do believe the probabilities have changed uh, for this next election. What, what has happened with the Democrats that they've created a super juggernaut in, in, um, in, in so many words, you guys, with the, the indictments and uh, everything they did to him. And then um, the moment the man was shot through the ear um, and I'm sitting on the couch watching this live um, with a massive headache and um, had just turned it on just maybe a minute or two before uh, the shots rang out and uh, I was kind of stunned I was sitting there it was almost like 9-11 when when I turned on the tv and I saw the the uh the planes hit and uh and it was just surreal and unbelievable and um everything kind of slowed down a little bit you know like uh when a person goes into shock, right? And I think there might may, may have been some shock for, you know, some people who were watching, especially the ones that were watching it there and, and live and seeing people murdered. Um, absolutely some some trauma, right? So it took me this this whole week to kind of process what was going on. And, and I even had to go back and look at some of my older videos, as I'm going to show you here, and see what I had said and how accurate were we my mustache is tickling my nose <laughs> every time I talk 
Uh, and so I went back and looked some, at some of my videos and see exactly what I said. I'm going to share that with you and kind of compare, um, uh, you know, what we've learned, uh, because there was a lot of data that I extracted on that. It never really kind of panned out. Um, uh, not to say that it wasn't valid, because I, I don't think this was the only attempt on Donald's life or the, or the the only person that wanted to do this. I think there have been others. Uh, 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 we talked about a report several months ago about an Iranian um, plot to kill Trump. And particularly, they were looking for a man in Miami. And uh, as far as I know, they're still looking for the guys. That's still a credible uh, threat. So um, President Trump's not out of the woods, by the way, you guys. And um, I don't think it's over. Um, seven shots. Uh, that's what the code shows. I heard seven shots. The code shows seven shots there. The eighth shot is what killed the gunman. Um, but seven shots. He didn't just get one shot off, you guys. Seven. And it was allowed to happen. Um, I think I've figured out what Holy of Holies means in, in the Trump code. And um, it is connected to the shooter's name, uh, the Holy of Holies being the bubble around the president. My nose is tickling again. The bubble around the president. Um, I would think, you know, a good code name, a good uh, call sign for that would be the Holy of Holies, right? The inner circle, the inner ring, the, the ring of protection, right? How did this person get into the Holy of Holies? It was allowed to happen. And uh, I say in one of these videos that it did it. This is six years ago that it looked eerily like to me. Like a situation with JFK. Where the president was put into um, a situation where things were allowed. It, it was allowed to happen. Right. Um, the only job for the Secret Service is one thing that is protect the asset that they're assigned to with their life right if you fail in that there's no do-overs there's no you know the results could be catastrophic if you fail at your job that's not a job and, and furthermore anyone in that job should be the elite um there should be no dei with secret service would you want to you know a dei hire to be your airline pilot right or be your surgeon why would we put dei people to protect the president this should be the, the elite there should be a high standard i think they should fire this woman kim cheadle and uh i think uh donald trump has been failed by by this person i don't i don't blame any of the the, the people on the ground i'm, I'm not here to blame uh, I just think that there were catastrophic failures that were allowed to happen. This young man got into the Holy of Holies, got off seven shots, one almost killing the president. Um, a few of those rounds actually killed other people or killed somebody. And so uh, this should have never, ever happened. And so um, it's a lot to process. So look, let's unpack that. You guys uh, hang out with me, please, for this video. Um, it's been a long time coming. Uh, you know, and it's just never really gone viral. You know, I, I saw someone, uh, some Johnny come lately who's on TikTok or YouTube or something and said that he prophesied this in April that this was going to happen. Yeah, you can't find any video of him doing that, right, with detail. It just uh, after the fact, uh, prophecy after the fact. And everybody wants to exalt this person, right? Like, like you guys, you got to be careful with the YouTube prophets. Those come along and, and exalting themselves as a prophet and saying this and that. We we went through this though in the last election. And there were some 400 false prophets that were exposed as false. And let me just say this. When Trump is reelected, and I think he will be, I think he will be reelected. I do think that the, the left is still going to try to steal it. I steal my prediction. Based on probabilities, I give it a 60-40. To Trump with a 40% probability that they they are still going to try to. Um, I got to be careful with what I say, you guys, with the shenanigans that they're going to try. Um, I, I got more codes on the election with the Biden and Kamala situation. 
that's also been work in the years. Um, it does look like, and I said this months ago too, it looks to me like Biden's going to be removed or resign and Kamala will, you know, be president for a short period, uh, it, it looks like. Um, the other outcome could be he tries to run this thing into the, uh, the end zone and then he hands it off to Kamala at the end. One or those two is going to happen. All right. We'll, we'll talk about those codes at another time. I want to talk about Donald Trump in this this one. And please forgive me, you guys. It is late and I'm, I'm tired uh, physically. Um, <laughs> worn out um anyway let's go to the some of the videos i want to i want to start with the actual uh you know what we all saw oh that's a little bit old that chart that chart's a couple of months old and if you uh, want to really see something that said take a look at what happened oh. <laughs> okay so um after the first couple of shots, I want to, I want you to notice this. After the first couple of shots and the president's down, the shooter keeps shooting. And I, I'm assuming, and I'm, I'm speculating here, that, uh, you know, he didn't hit his mark on the first couple. So it, it appears that he targeted other people um, in the crowd. Um, I I, d I just can't see from the vantage point. And we're going to look at a, a, a graphic here in a moment. The, the vantage point is very difficult to to get him when he's on the ground. But, you know, standing he had a really good shot at it. But um, very historic. <laughs> yeah, immediately get, get to him. That last shot. That last shot you heard, that was them killing the gunman, okay? I don't think I'll ever forget that, um, you guys. <laughs> uh, I did spend a week, um, you know, with my, some of my beard in my mouth. Um, looking at some clips uh, on my phone, saved a few that I thought were interesting. You know, I wanted to, to kind of go over with you guys. Uh, if you haven't, I'm on TikTok. I'm also on Rumble and uh, BitChute and Odyssey, you guys. Um, just a little side note there. Um, yeah, uh, I want to go first to Dan Bongino, um, and, and see so what he says. Tucker, some material from a, 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 an unimpeachable source, let's just say on the matter that post, according to my source, that roof was supposed to be a police post. It, it was supposed to be someone there. They're now making up excuses saying the pitch of the roof. Uh, my source says to me, they, no one knows why the post didn't show up. But so that's a nonsense story they're putting out in the media. And I was also told that the Secret Service director has been given instructions from the administration and the DHS secretary. You want to keep your job, you'll keep your mouth shut about this. They're not. You want to keep your job. OK, so this goes all the way to the top. This is not the Secret Service on the ground, um, you know, the agents that covered Trump. OK, this, this is. Kim Cheadle, and um, apparently she was she was um, brought in by Jill Biden, and Joe Biden didn't even know she was uh, head of the <laughs> Secret Service. By the way, I think they should fire her and bring in Dan Bongino. All right, so guys, let's get into this. What happened this weekend? Um, I uh, I spoke to President Trump. Uh, this morning, he is, I'm telling you, in unbelievably good spirits. Uh, he's a warrior. I think I let him know on your behalf. I told him we have a really large MAGA crowd out there that listens to our show. And I said to him, you're all proud of him. I said to him, you've got, you know, nerves, man. you got balls of steel. I didn't know any other way to say it. And I'm telling you, he's in good spirits. I have some breaking news about this uh, catastrophe that happened this weekend because that's what it was. Uh, number one I have from sources are that very few people 
who were at that event, who were poststanders, who were, were security personnel. Very few were actual Secret Service agents. This is just a really stunning development. I want you to think about what I just said. The guy with probably the highest threat level on planet Earth, up there with the Pope, uh, Obama, people with incredible name ID, everybody's going to recognize who have big security footprints. We were out there with very, very few Secret Service post standards. Many of them, what we used to call back in the day OTAs, other Treasury agents, they wound up being outsourced security personnel from other agencies. Not that these aren't good people, but folks, are we serious? We don't have Secret Service agents protecting the Secret Services, probably at this point most, uh, most threatened protectee. That is absolutely insane. I'm not sure you heard that. I said it anywhere else. I, I, I think I spoke about it a little bit on Jesse's show last night. But here's another thing I'm hearing from sources. That this subject, they, heard they had been monitoring him since he came in around that, that external perimeter area. This subject who was the shooter. They lost track of him, apparently, and he was hiding in a building about 300 yards away. Folks, if they had this subject um, in their... Uh, on their, say, their radar, that you had a potential threat. I think the questions right now are fairly obvious. Why was President Trump even on stage at that point? He should have not been on stage. It's ridiculous. I mean, if you know you're in a situation with a potential threat out there, just delay the event for a little bit. I mean, listen, we've got to talk candidly about this stuff. Again, I don't want to hear about Monday morning quarterbacking anything. This isn't a freaking football game, man. This is the life of the president of the United States. This isn't a joke. I saw some guy online talking about how, oh, people make mistakes. We don't get to make mistakes. What are you talking about make mistakes? This is the Secret Service. There's no opportunity for mistakes. Do you remember what the IRA said, the Irish uh, Republic? And he's right. There, There is no excuse. For, um, the, the Secret Service is elite force, uh, the best of the best, right? And they're highly trained in marksmanship and in, you know, surveillance and counter surveillance and always being hyper vigilant and aware of every movement. I mean, this is their job, right? Did you know that there is um, there was a plan to. Uh, um, first of all, th th um, some I can't think of his name and I should have wrote it down. Unprepared. Some senator, uh, um, Benny something, uh, they were trying to pass legislation and make a law that uh, anybody convicted of a felony could not be protected by the Secret Service, right? And they were trying to pass this law based off of Donald Trump so that they could strip him of his right to Secret Service. And imagine that an American president with no secret service, right? This is what they want. And they couldn't get that done, right? And so what does the, the head of the, the secret service do? Scales down. Uh, they put him in a killing field, you guys. No doubt about it. And just let's let's take a look at it. just how close. Um, I like this, this graphic here. I don't know about the music, uh, but this is what we're talking about. See that angle of attack there, and the the move. So, so the the gunman was aiming for probably right above the ear. Okay, um, which is what a marksman sniper shoots for the head shot, right? And the president turns his head about twenty degrees, and this is how it goes through. The ear. I mean, this could have been just like November 22nd, 1963, you guys, and all televised, right? So the whole world would have, would have seen this, and we would not have had a week like we had where the president is <laughs> kicking the butt out of the Democrats right now, right, in the polls. He's a super juggernaut. I do believe he's he's going to legitimately win, but I also believe again, and they're still going to try to stop him, you guys. Um, and if they go that route, I think it's going to be even more blatantly obvious than it was the last time. Okay, so with that being said, let's. Um, I had so much I wanted to share there, but I. It's tiring. I'm tired. Um, 
I want to get to these codes and, uh, you know, some of you guys won't watch this video if it's too long. So <laughs> I want to get through the codes. Let's go to uh, one, one of the, well, let's just back up and look at some of the channel content from years ago so you can get an idea. And uh, okay. hang tight, you guys. There's a little graphic on my channel. I want to, they're, they're doing this. Um, it's a new thing. Well, where did it go? Anyway. Um, oh, here it is right here. All right. So here's one of the original uh, videos that I did. And um, as you can see, this is six years ago, only 29,000 views. So not really everybody knew about this. Um, they, they know about the false prophets and stuff, but um, this is the very table that uh, and, and it's worked different. Um, as you can see, I was focused a lot on this left, uh, right side. It turns out all the information that I found was over on the other side. And uh, we're, we're going to see that in just a minute. But all this stuff I still think um, was remarkable that it, that it's there. Um, could it be other threats at other times? Absolutely. Um, I, I think Donald Trump was literally surrounded with threats all the time, all the time. Now, in this video, um, I'd been working this code, uh, you know, a lot. And um, was, I was very concerned. And uh, I, I was physically, emotionally um, disturbed by what I what I felt like might happen. So let's just take a look um, of, of what I said um, back then. And then I want to look at the other one I just did four months ago. If, if this happens, um, it, it, there would be a great darkness over this country, folks, who people will mourn and, and I mean, could quite possibly be um, very similar to JFK. And uh... so it was very difficult to, you know, even talk like that. And 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 just thinking about that, and I was thinking about what would happen, um, you know, to this nation if we saw another assassination like Kennedy, you know, where he would he was put in a situation where. A gunman was allowed to do what he did, right? So this was really hard for me to kind of consider and think about. And I, and uh, I, I distinctly remember my students after we we talked about this that several of them took upon their themselves because we prayed for the president. We felt like we needed to warn him, and so they had actually sent emails and uh, you know sent this information to uh, to you know the Trump administration. Um, here's a graphic I wanted to show you right here. This is my channel graphic. Uh, it, it should look differently. What you see here in these lines like this that go down, these are these are video dumps. As you can see, I went from, uh, and this is the three times that I got strikes. Okay. Three times, going back to 2017, and then uh, when I got the, the other... Uh, this is three individual strikes, not three can three at one time. Um, but what I had to do was I had to dump millions of views. As you can see right now, my channel's, you know, sitting at four million views. Well, I dumped half my views. And some of those videos were Donald Trump tables, were, you know, election stuff. Um, all the all the live stream video that I did uh, the week of the election when I was telling every one of you that. Trump was not going to be reelected in this one. It was going to be Biden, and it looked like some shenanigans happened, right? Said that every night. Oh, no, Jonathan, he's going to save the nation. He's he's going to save the nation, and it didn't happen. Now, it looks like it's flipped back the other way. But still, it looks like the shenanigans are going to happen, you guys. We're going to have to wait and see. This, Like I said, this is not a crystal ball. But it is 
probabilities. And we have to use a method called uh, Monte Carlo method to figure these things out. And so this is what I was doing back then. I was looking for every possible every possible alley that this would go. I have my reasons for that. You know, the, the different uh, folks, I'm very nervous talking about this, about this table because I know the significance and the ramifications and the repercussions of revealing something like this, but I, I think you was going to do something. I don't know what that is. I just know I'm supposed to, to show you this. Um, I was in the Marines and, uh, one of the missions of the Corps is to protect the president. Um, I was very outspoken. The last president we had, those of you who know, watch this channel know that I didn't particularly like that president. This one, <clears throat> I kind of like him, folks. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think he's a good guy. I, I think, you know, it, he's, he's beat around the bush about repenting. Um, but you know, w what does that mean? I think he's a good person overall. And I, I, I don't want to see anything happen to him. But I think something will. And that, that really scares me because the only other times I've seen something like this is with the Yixok Rabin table and it happened one year later. Now the so, as it were, um, this took six years um, to to manifest, you guys. And if we just look at the channel content, um, like I was telling you, I, I just went through and, and put in Donald Trump's name or Trump and just to pull up the videos that I had on um, anything on Trump or on the election. And uh, this is this is what I got here. All right. So uh, this was uh, you guys watch this. This was. Unveiling the Eclipse election and uh, Trump Bible Code. We, we did that February um, 2024. One of the last times I did this, just a few months ago, you guys. All right. Um, going back a little further. This is the one we, I just was pulled up. Bible Code Prophecy. Um, President Trump's life in peril. Urgent warning. Right. Look at this one. We dodge a bullet. Right. So uh, but but going all the way back, that original table, Trump wins, Hillary steals, June 2016, six months before the election, Trump wins. Trump wins. So we've been talking about this for a, a, a long time, right? Long time. So let's go to uh, the, the last one I did. And I hate that I had to dump so many videos, you guys, because it was a lot of good content. Um, and I just look foolish now uh, talking about these things. With no videos to prove that I said. <laughs> so, all right, so let's go back to February, four months ago. Here's what I said. Actually... This computer. Here's a table. Now we're going to look at this is the Donald Trump table. Very famous. All right. So as you can see, it's worked a little bit different. Every time I work this, I I, I start a new one because um, and if we layered these over on top of each other all this data would be superimposed it'd be really kind of hard to um you know to read so I, I like to start another one with with a fresh table and uh rework it and so that's what i did but listen to what i just just a few months ago what, what i was saying about it. been around for a while um and this is what we have in here. Um, D Trump or Donald Trump running upwards into B 
be uh, in the blue here. Um, this was found um, several years ago, probably late 2014, early 2015. I talked about, about this table all through 2015. Donald Trump was not even a nominee when, when I did the um, uh, Hagman and Hagman. Hagman show, and they asked me who was going to be president. It looked to me like him. him uh, the word appointed or appointed time right up under his name, also with the word Nazi president, very close proximity. And in his table, um, this is also the very same one that the rabbis worked and this anomaly was found, which is it basically says Shem. Uh, or the name of the assassin right next to him, right? So this implies there's going to be an assassin of some sort, right? Or he, that his life is in danger. Um, and so this is why this, this table has been talked about so much about the, with the rabbis. I've talked about it several times. Um, there's a lot of information in here, but this is, this is quite skilled back for the sake of a presentation. Um, let, and so let's get into some of the ELS code that's here. And by the way, as you as you notice, probably already, this is all exclusively ELS code. This is what we have found encoded in the text. I have no scriptures highlighted. Um, and the reason for that is because I can't e exactly explain why his name appears in this particular place. And what we see here, this is the book of Exodus. And this goes into the book of Leviticus. We're right in in the law, right? And I don't understand that. This is not in the prophets. This is not in the writings in any other place, but right in the Torah here, where there's a lot of sacrifice. Um, most of these verses that run right through here is about the temple rituals with the priests and the sacrificing of animals, spilling of blood. There's a lot of bloodshed in here. A lot of sacrifice. Um, incidentally, you guys, I had somebody um, ask me about the blood on the fingers and and the, you know on, on the toe, and you know it's a it's a thing that they do to the priest. Uh, by the way, <laughs> I can't remember where it is in this. I have to go line by line and try to find that. But that passage does come through this table. So, like I said, it was all about the the priesthood and sacrifice and the temple law and things like that running all through here okay so uh that that's kind of peculiar this is exclusively in the torah by the way so this is why the, the rabbis uh, love to look at this this table and i'm actually kind of surprised that blazerson hasn't talked about this here this past week um too much sorry about the buffering what is that all about that doesn't make any sense to me why his name is encoded in a place all about sacrifice all right but here you go. Um, some of the terms here, like uh, that, might be relevant. Indictments, indictments here in the yellow, and then it's here on itself, sharing a shin twice, right there in this little cluster. Uh, then of course it's here in the in the, the yellow that's vertical. Uh, I know there's there's also another one that runs through here, but for the sake of that, it's kind of confusing. Uh, I didn't show that one, but there's actually four indictments here um, in this table. The name Biden is here in the orange. So is the name Obama. Look at this, Obama running right here, starting with this olive and the vav, the bet, the mem, and the hay running across at a skip of 491. But not only that, Kamala's name is here. Running down this way and sharing the olive of Obama, sharing a letter. The only time Kamala and Obama appear in this table, they share an olive right here with indictments. Um, the darkness, by the way, this vertical term running through here is the darkness. It's also up here at the top, the darkness. Um, right where um, the eclipse is, right here with those four letters. The eclipse is also down here with these four letters. I and if you recall, we did this right around the time of the eclipse. And I was trying to, to 
um, you know, interpret what I was seeing, uh, the meaning of the, the eclipse, the comet that, you know, the devil comet had come through at that same time. So it looked to me like he was predicting something very ominous. We also have a comet, the comet. Remember, there's a there's a comet um, with this second eclipse. So I, I would look at this is the first eclipse and this is the second. And they both run in opposite directions. Look at that. This one runs from from right to left. And this one from left to right, just like the way of the the you know the X across the United States with the eclipse, they went in both directions down here. And this one has a comet that's that's involved with it. Um, I did, did find I, I couldn't find the words uh, second term, but I did find the word again um, in close proximity with president, like. Uh, Right here, you see these three letters is again, and we have the word president. Right under Donald's name, running in the other direction with the mem, noon, yod, ni, noon, um, that word. Which is a minyan. A minyan is a group of 10 people. It can be like a, a government body or a judging body, uh, but minyan is right under his name. It means a quorum or a legislator legislation right quorum uh, i thought that was interesting that the pre president well, is blocked by the quorum or the le so that that's mignon legislators interesting how that works out we also have the year tav shin pei hey in the same line as nasi so if anything indicates that he has you know, probability of being president and you guys, I think the cards are stacked against him. They're doing everything they can to, to keep this from happening. And, and if this happens right here, what, what's indicated here is because all else failed in preventing this, the presidency. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? So I started looking for methods of, of his demise, possibly. What, what about poison? There's a poison in here. It's very loosely associated, so it's probably not likely. Um, the word stabbed in the orange here, stabbed, still kind of loosely associated with this. It's close, and I think if anybody who is considering and, and those that are, that are considering um, evil toward him, they have considered every, every possible, everything, poison, stabbing, shooting, bombs, all those things, right? But what stands out? This right here. Okay, so we have the word shot. That's vertical. So that's concerning because it's in the same skip as the name, right? And also what, what's indicated in the yellow. But it's also here, here at a skip. because So the skip would be 460. That's the vertical. This one right here, same word, 461. But also has, as he is a connect, uh, connected to it in, in the red letter and the white and red letter under that, he is shot. So this is highly probable he is shot um that we that we found close proximity to his name right B most likely if anything happens to him he's going to be shot and quite possibly twice as you see there all right so is that a is that a prophecy is is this code prophetic right um th this is me interpreting data and trying to to weed through all of the Monte Carlo that's there, right? Things that are not relevant, not applicable, um, not probable, right? Poison, poison is there. Is it probable? It's not. It's it's not likely. Okay. 
may be a small probability, uh, but not likely, right? We can kind of tell that on the way these things are appear, but this anomaly, highly probable, especially when you see clustering like this, he is shocked. Um, I'm not making any predictions, you guys. That's not what this is all about. about. I am uh, an analyst interpreting data that I'm finding encoded. So I reserve the right to be wrong. Let, let, let's not forget that, okay? Okay. Uh, I'm not making any predictions here. I, and matter of fact, I hope nothing happens to the man. I don't think he's wicked, but I don't think he's righteous either, you guys. I think he, he's a decent man. Uh, but I don't think that he is the Messiah. And that word is here, the Mashiach. And I, I think that has a lot to do with the rabbis and some of the Christians that have used that word. He's a, a savior, right? And if you recall, because they did this, I pre predicted in the last election that he would not be president because of what the Christians were doing. Uh, exactly. And I do stand by that, you guys. Um, there was there was a there was a lot of Trump worship and a lot of uh, false prophets that were jumping on the bandwagon and trying to make a name for themselves. And you remember what what Yah said in uh, the week of the election? He was telling me very clearly, I was not going to lift one finger to I'm not going to lift one finger to stop what's about to happen. I told you guys that. Every night until the election. And what happened? Well, it looked good on the election night. And then we wake up the next morning and whoa, what happened? The codes were right, you guys. My interpretation's not always right. But nine times out of ten, the code stands. I, I remember back in 2014 when I, when I had a code that indicated there was going to be a collision with Comet Siding Springs and, and Mars, but I was telling people there was going to be a deep impact. Well, the deep impact didn't happen, but the collision did. And so the code was speaking for itself. It didn't need me to, to embellish, right? So um, we have to be careful with that and how we interpret what we're seeing. So let's, by the way, you can guys can go and, uh, you know, watch all of these. I, I think they're all still. There may be one or two Trump videos that are on private, um, and that's because they were hitting me so hard, you guys, with the election stuff and, and you know, what I had said. They dinged me for uh, election misinformation, right, because I used words that YouTube didn't like, and I got to be careful, and that's why I say shenanigans, all right? Um, they're going to pull it again. They're going to, especially now, after after they didn't finish the job, right? Um, and and yes, I do think it was a conspiracy, you guys. I think it's been brewing a long time. I think they finally pulled the trigger, no pun intended. And uh, it is what it is. The, the creator of the universe intervened and stopped a terrible tragedy. And boy, am I glad because um, I was watching it live and that would have scarred me <laughs> to see that, really. <clears throat> I can hardly look at the, the Zapruder film of Kennedy being killed. It's just so horrific, right? And now with, you know, 4K and, you know, everybody has a cell phone, that would be so much... Oh, it would be bad, you guys. It would be so much gruesome death and a dark shadow over this country had this president been killed. So I'm very thankful that our father spared his life. And, um, you know, I hope he gets in there. I really do, you guys. Uh, I, I, I'm really worried about what they're planning on doing with uh, Kamala over there because uh, they really want to force her on you, okay? And that's what I said in the last video um, or the live stream I did. You're not going to like it. You're not going to like what they're going to try to do. And uh, they're going to try to force her on you. But now I think I think things have, have improved in the sense of probabilities. Um, 
if they do try to pull the shenanigans, it is going to be so obvious that I think there are going to be some Democrats to call BS. All right. Just just let's let's wait and see on that. Let's move on. Let's go to the to the uh, updated code. That I have for for you guys. Um, so fairly accurate in, in, in my interpretation of this. And again, we've been looking at this code for six years, you guys. Six long years. And, uh, you know, I had no idea. When, when I originally was talking about this, I thought it was imminent. I felt like there was an imminent threat. And maybe there was. And they just couldn't get to it. But... Um, yeah, so let's go look at the updated version of uh, this code. And this is it. Very scaled back. This is a new uh, a version of it, as you can see. Very same thing. Donald Trump is the access term here. This is where it says the name of the assassin, right, with remember Holy of Holies. Holy of Holies. And I told you that this kind of stood out to me, this Holy of Holy thing. Because this implies to me this is inner circle stuff. This is not just this is somebody getting really close to the president. And I think I say that in the in the last video. I should have let it keep playing. Um, but I actually said if, if this happens, this means somebody got very close to the president. And so what do we have here? All right, so let's let's look. We got Thomas. Thomas in the green, starting here with the, the, the top. Thomas, Matthew, running right through Holy Polies, and then his last name, Crooks, right here. All right, so we've got the shooter and an AR-15, AR-15, bullets. And we've got uh, seven and seven Seven. I was looking for seven shots, but it's actually uh, uh, not all in one line. It's seven, and then shots is, is a couple of lines up right here. Seven shots. That's what I counted. The eighth shot was what killed him. Um, we've got AR-15 on the roof, right? Uh, Ein Lamed in Hebrew is on, so we've got Ein Lamed, Ein Lamed forming a triangle around on the roof. Hey, Gimel Gimel. I know some of you are going to be like, I don't know what? Let's go to the translator. So I can type that in for you and you can see. Because some of you are going to be like, what? All right. Ein Lamed. On. Hey, Gimel Gimel. On the roof. Ein Lamed. Hey, Gimel Gimel. On the roof. That's what we were just looking at here. The way that clustering is, is very interesting to me. It's almost like it's a it's a prone shooter. And look at the, the where this is. If we lay the stage and where we're, um, Trump was shot, overlaid that on this, and as if we're looking at this matrix as if it's a map, Everything is on the left side where the shooter was. The angles, like the angle of Matthew running through Holy of Holies and name of the assassin, almost like it's the angle of, of attack through his ear, right? That's probably another good search term, through his ear. Here is the sniper. Sniper is Hey Zadi Lamed Pei. Again, Let's go back to, because I know some of you will be like, what? Hey, Lamed Zadi Pei. Hey, Lamed Zadi Pei. Nope, that's not what it was. What was it? Hey, Zadi Lamed Pei. Excuse me, it's late, you guys. Very late, I'm tired. The sniper. 
A Zadi Lamed Pig. A sniper. Is right by um the, the other side. As a matter of fact, it's over on the side where where it says um it's on the side of um where it says he is shot on this side. Over here is where it said that. I should have put that in this table too. But again, I re re uh, work this. We we have explosives right here. Zadi Pay uh, Noon explosives is here. Also, Black Rock Assassin. Black Rock Assassin also here in this table. Um. And also allowed, this was allowed to happen, permitted or allowed. And so I think there'll still be, um, I'm not share screen, golly. All right, Black Rock, sorry about that, you got, again, I'm tired. I am, it's one dirty, Black Rock, assassin sitting on top of each other we've got explosives right here and we also have permitted it was allowed to happen permitted and the sniper holy of holies with matthew running through it and uh, i think there's probably a lot a lot more here uh, like through the ear and and things like that um I think in the um, the last video that I did in the last table, I think we had the uh, he is killed that runs up here, but that could be the the assassin um, that was killed, right? Also, probably should look for the firefighter in this as well. Uh, so I'll make sure to do that. Um, so that's what I've got on um, on Donald Trump, you guys on this particular event um i don't know if it's over um who knows you guys I, it, it feels like they could try to do this again um but it would be it would be very very stupid and very very obvious that uh, they set this president i think they, they blew their shot uh to get it done so we'll have to see. Uh, are they going to be able to do the shenanigans and pull it off? We, we, well, you know, I'm working on it, you guys. Um, it's about probabilities. And like I said, it looks to me right now, 60-40 in favor of Trump. And I hope it stays that way. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to see. I don't want to see the other um, other thing happen. You guys, if you uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Please share the video and help me out. And uh, we do have room uh, for new students. If, if you want to learn how to do codes, um, learn a little bit of Hebrew, I got room for you. I could use some new students. Uh, you guys, I'm, I'm working my butt off in this economy to try to pay my bills. And uh, yeah, I need some help. <laughs> I, need, I, I need at least some students or uh, some help with donations. You guys, I can't even pay rent right now and i'm behind um so i got to get on the ball i got to get some more students in and uh, it's like a revolving door sometimes uh i get them in and they drop out and so it's quite frustrating um i've had to take on other work and uh this is why i'm buried with um <clears throat> physical labor and uh you know having little time to get on here and do codes um I, I, let me just say this about personal codes you guys i'm gonna i'm trying to get through all the personal codes the problem is that i get buried i haven't taken any more personal codes since february when they all came in at one time all in like one week or a week and a half right and uh, i stopped taking them because uh, each one of those takes weeks and weeks for me to get done okay because i only get a few hours a day you know, I'm not doing this 10 and 12 hours a day like I used to. I, I'm, I'm, I have to work, you guys, and, and pay my bills. So, um, I, right now I'm only getting, you know, a few hours a, a day to do this, and and uh, it's very stressful for me because I made a commitment to a lot of you, and so this is what I'm going to do. The ones I've got started, and I've been trying to work simultaneously. I'm going to get those done, and uh, the the rest of them. 
probably going to refund because I can't handle you guys. I, I can't handle, you know, the pressure of trying to, you know, because I can't make everybody happy. Everybody wants theirs first, right? And I can't give everybody theirs first, right? You have to wait. And so um, I made a decision, a judgment call on this. Once I get through this list, I'm not doing personal codes. Um, it's it, first of all, it's not worth it to me for, for the stress. OK, um, I, I put a lot of my heart and time into it. And, um, you know, and I got people who get upset because it's taken me so long. And so I don't want to do that anymore. All right. So uh, please forgive me for um, failing you in that. And uh, I, I certainly did not want to do that, but it's got me in a hole. This is why you haven't seen me in a while, you guys, because I got too much on me. I got too much work. And I'm not bringing in enough money to pay my bills. And so I'm very stressed, very stressed. So please forgive me. Um, uh, I, I'm certainly not trying to uh, scam anybody or diss anybody or anything like that. Um, I, I truly have a lot on my plate and uh, some things you don't even know about in my personal life. Um, so uh, if you can. Please help me out uh, with a donation um, if you if you appreciate the work and uh, the long hard work over many years. Or if you would like to be a student, please email me down below. I would love to have you in the class and uh, teach you how to search codes, uh, teach you a little bit of Hebrew and uh, get you into a really, really cool um, community. So with that is all I have for you. Shalom to you. May Yah bless you and keep you and uh, pray for this nation. Pray for our, our president. Um, he is not through this yet. Uh, he's got to make it through. And I think there's going to be some more shenanigans and the, the DNC is coming up. And so we're going to see what they do over there. And so I got codes on that too. Um, what I think is going to happen with Kamala and uh, Biden resigning or being um, pulled out. Um, I got Codes we talked about months on that too. Remember that. Remember the Kamala and um, Obama, Michelle Obama picture that came up with the AI thumbnail, right? Um, that's looking like it's kind of probable that that would probably happen. I can't see them putting. First of all, Kamala is no. Uh, she's no champion, right? So they got to put something, somebody with her that is going to pull this thing or appear to pull the, this thing off. Um, that's all That's all they need, just to appear that they have um, the, the swag to um, win the, or pull it off. You know what I'm saying? Um, they need to appear. So name recognition, name nostalgia. And that's why the Obama has to go on the ticket if, if they're going to do that. There's nobody else they can put on a ticket with Kamala. That's going to be able to appear to pull off any shenanigans with Donald Trump. Not at this point. And if they try it, it's going to be very evident. Very. More to come, you guys, in the codes coming up. Pray for me. Shalom. We'll see you in the next video.